What is up guys? So here we go. We have a guide to the effigy locations. Now there are some that spawn randomly within areas so it's difficult to have a, an exact number of effigies but this is done over normal and Joe must die difficulty and there's your first one right there. Yeah normal and Joe must die difficulty so the end stat at the end of the game is not going to be correct which is why I didn't show it but in the end I'm just going to show all the locations I've discovered for effigies and as far as I know, they will spawn in the same places on the same difficulties, but people get mixed up because they play both difficulties and they're in different locations. So for instance, this one will be here on all difficulties. And sometimes there'll be champion effigies, sometimes there'll be boxer effigies, but uh, I will say as we go along with it. So again, the third one coming up here is just before the first jack encounter. And this one has always been there, and it's always been a boxer effigy. Okay, this is just after the jack fight, where we just were. You drop down this ledge here, and head into the house to find another boxer effigy. And this is designed more for new players, so I might over-explain some locations. Next up we have the paddle boat. Now the steer house is to my left, or the wheelhouse at least. And on this rusty outcrop you will find a boxer effigy. And that's always a boxer effigy and it's not there on one of the difficulties. Okay, next up we are in the paddle boat, second floor. And this is just before we go downstairs. As you can see there. But if you just hop down, do a quick turn. And I've cleared out all the enemies, this should be obvious. But in this box over here is a possible location for an effigy. Whenever there's more than one box in an area, they could be in any one of them. But this one down here is always a champion. And you can shoot the tripwire with the spear or anything. Moving on to the fat molded fight on JMD difficulty. And no, I'm not hacking my PS4, I'm simply speeding up the video footage. And that was a terrible throw. So let's get past this. And through the door. Charging. Barricade in this instance is going to be an effigy down here, which is always a normal effigy, boxer effigy. Right, now the next one is going to be just after the jack fight. And he'll always die in this location. There's the door to my left, and straight ahead in either of these boxes, there can be an effigy, and it'll be a boxer. Well, it could be a champion, I'm not going to say definitively yes or no. But from this location, we're just going to head forward, and again, I'm going to speed this up. And in this box over here, there will be another one. I'd already broken it. Right, so now you go take Zoe onto the boat. And now we're going to head to the first large swamp area, which is the quarantine area one. And behind me are the, the raised platforms. And again, it can either be in this box here, or it can be in the box in the center of the lake, right over there. All right, so from here, we're going to grab the champion effigy, which is going to be inside this fridge. And this is always normally a champion effigy, for me at least. Alright, to the next area on the raised platforms. It is fairly linear, most of the game, but again you get these wider areas like this where there are places to explore. But in here, again a possible location for an effigy. Now I'm going to speed this up again. Careful of the crocs, and we're going to make our way to this little area here. And once again, possible locations for the effigies. Like I said before, this is done over Joe Must Die and Normal Difficulty, so I've just edited them together. And just a little bit further ahead, after you break down this door, 
There's going to be another effigy in the box. Again, this is a possible location. And this is also sometimes a champion. I think it was now. Yeah. Okay, in this next area, straight ahead, there are five, I think. Five effigies and one champion. Well, four effigies and one champion. So this place is probably familiar to most. And again, a possible location right here. I think from this point onwards, it was a single playthrough. But like I said before, the stats are not going to be the same because I've used multiple footage. So hang a left, jump off the jetty. And you'll find a champion up here, chilling in the tree. I'm going to speed this up. From this point, there are several options with boxes. So one on the right over here, which I happen to find all of these in the single play. So there was five in total in this area, if you include the one by the save point, which is coming up now. Another one to the left. And the last one is going to be within the save point, just after the area. Okay, so now we're going to head to the cemetery. And again, there's two locations here where they can spawn. But for me, actually, it's only been the one location. So you can check there's a box in that corner normally. And this is on normal difficulty. And over here, there should normally always be one on both difficulties, but again, can't say definitively. And the next one is going to be on the lamppost just before we head into the church. Right there. Okay, so now we are inside the old house. And this is coming to the end of it. So once you get past this area here with the fireplace, there's going to be a fat mold in this room. And right around the corner is going to be a champion effigy. All right, there is one more, cleverly hidden on the doll fence. It's gotta be up ahead. Right over here. All right, guys, that's gonna bring us to the end of the video. I really hope you find it informative and you're able to find all these locations for these little guys who watch actually increase your Sorry. boxing efficiency and damage. Uh, please hit that like button if you like the video, it really helps the channel. Right. And there's uh, at least a three or four more videos I'm coming out with on this DLC, so Sorry. stick around. All right, guys, I want to say Sorry. thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Uh, my cup's off. Joe, what happened? Are you okay?